This is the Reception Anti Stage 1 PE Challenge. This is for everybody just to watch it. <laughs> Reception and PE Stage 1, I am so excited to introduce you to our very first PE challenge at home. So we've got three sections here. We've got endurance, which just means keep going, balance, which means holding still, and max reps, which means how many can you do in the given time. So for each of these activities, we're going to show you on video how to do it, and you should count as many as you can do for the last section for max reps. Watch right till the end of the video and see how you can end up on our leaderboard on the website. Okay, so we are going to demonstrate how to do each of the movements in endurance, in balance and in max reps and then it will be your turn. So first thing on my list for endurance is hopping and you've got 20 seconds if you're in reception year one. You're hopping just on one foot. Can you keep going for 20 seconds? You try. The next activity, see if you can keep going and going and going with this. This is called bunny hops and I'm going to demonstrate on my map. Here to demonstrate how to do the front support is Mr. Hansen. Support next, so um, make sure your back straight, arms straight. Now the next section of the challenge is balance, so it's keeping as strong and as still as possible for those 20 seconds. The first balance is balancing on one leg, and here's Mrs. Greenaway to demonstrate. Okay, so this challenge is you need to be able to see if you can stand on one leg for 20 seconds. Are we ready? One, two, three. Our next balance support for 20 seconds is the back support and here's Mr. Hansen to demonstrate. Right, back support next, make sure your fingers are pointing to your toes on this one and make sure your stomach is flat in a line. Our last balance to hold for 20 seconds is the T balance and I'm going to demonstrate on my mat. Can you hold that for 20 seconds? Now here's the competitive part of this PE challenge. This is max reps. This is how many you can do in 30 seconds. And when you've counted how many you can do, I want you to put those scores onto the website and we're gonna have a leaderboard. So the three challenges in the max reps section is star jumps. Here's Mr. Hansen to show you how. Right, first one is star jumps. So make sure your hands are feet moving at the same time as the body. Okay, our next activity is for max reps, which means that you're going to put the timer on and count how many that you can do. For the speed bounce, we need some kind of line along the floor so you could get like a um, sock or a roll of a towel or something like that. I am going to use a bit of wood and do it. So you're bouncing each side of this with two feet and every bounce that you count is one rep. So this challenge is you need a pair of socks and you need to put the socks inside out to create a sock ball. And what you're going to do is see how many times you can throw and catch your sock in 30 seconds. Okay, Ellis, you ready? Time in 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to see how many I can do on my own for 30 seconds. Are you ready? One.
Okay, so when you've had a go at the challenge, all you need to do now is to submit your results. So we go to the school website, go to your class page, and then there'll be a quick click link for the PE challenge. And then we've got our uh, scores survey here. So you type in your first name. Don't give me any more details than that, just your first name is fine. You select what year you're in. Well, actually, I suppose I'm a teacher. Um, and then whatever you attempted, you can put your score in. So for star jumps in the set time and for speed bounds, uh, maybe I didn't do throw and catch because I'm not in reception year one or year two, tuck jumps there, and then press done. And it's done, it says thank you. And then underneath that, I'm gonna put a leaderboard.